الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الحبة الله just as general advice for the youth uh, especially the youth in America and probably the youth in a lot of Western countries because some of our issues are, are very similar that knowledge of the deen is the most important endeavor that you can strive for and it's a type of jihad as the ulama state and learning about the issues in the Masail and how to practice your religion and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better there's nothing greater than that in that path and the Prophet said whenever Allah wants good for a person he gives them understanding of the deen he gives them understanding of this religion and the Prophet said من سلك طريقا يلتمسه به علم سهل الله له طريقا إلى الجنة. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said that whoever traverses the path of knowledge, من سلك طريقا يلتمسه به علم سهل الله سهل الله له طريقا إلى الجنة. Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So حبيت في الله seeking knowledge is part of the path to paradise. This is what our youth should be concerned about. But if one finds that they're not cut out for that steep path, because it's not an easy path, it requires sacrifice, sometimes it requires hunger, sometimes it, requ it kind of requires a sacrifice in wealth, in family, in property, and even in your own life, striving to seek the knowledge. And it's not an easy path, a habitif Allah, As Shaykh and Shaykh Muqbil bin Hadi Allah said, that uh, the one seeking knowledge that al-ilm la yati bi rahat al-jizid or kama qala shaykh rahmatullah alayhi he said that knowledge does not come with a comfortable body it doesn't co come with comfort in your body because the one who's really seeking knowledge I'm not talking about the one you know uh, it, it sometimes occasionally opens a book, occasionally reads the Quran, occasionally looks at an issue, but really, really, in fact, if we're honest with ourselves, those few tulab al ilm, because I've known many, Willilah al Hamd, who, who studied in universities like Jamia Islamiyah and, and in Egypt, and studied in, in the Marrakesh of Sunnah in Yemen, uh, and, and so forth, but only out of the many. Not everyone is serious like that. And I've benefited by being in the company of some of my brothers who, I won't name their names, but I've seen how serious they were about ilm. And it showed me how the lack of seriousness about myself and how lazy that I am. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our shortcomings and I'm not trying to brag about my uh, shortcomings. But I have it to just to make the point, is that not everyone is cut out for that steep, steep path. So what should our youth be doing? For one, keeping your salat, adhering to the prayer. Number two, and do everything you can to do that in congregation. Number two, keep good company. The Prophet told us that a, a, that a person is on the deen of his companions. So if you are around people that are, 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 are thuggish or people who are, who, are, who are just caught up in this worldly life, then you're going to be like them. Because either you're giving them dawah or they're giving you dawah. And if you're with other people who have other bad habits, then you're going to be on the bad habits that they're upon. So be with those people who are better than you at all times or at least the same level as you to encourage you. Those people will encourage you, but not those people who will take from you and drain you and pull you in the wrong direction. That's very important, the habit So the prayer and, <coughs> and having good companionship and something from knowledge. You have to learn the basics about your deen. You need to know how to pray properly. You need to know how to make uh, wudu and istinja and tahara properly. How to make ghusl, if you need to make ghusl and, and so forth. If you're involved in other activities, you need to know the, the fiqh and the uh, understanding of those activities that you're involved with, Allah, that's imperative. And that will help you stay on istiqamah as well. Keeping that good company, keeping in the, uh, some 
circles of dhikr, where they're studying ilm, where you have an activity of the Qur'an, something. It doesn't have to be all of your life. It doesn't have to be all of your time. But take some of your time to do so, Habitifillah. And lastly, I want to say, and this isn't necessarily pertinent to the deen per se, but our youth need to think about a future. Our youth need to think about a future. So if you find that you're not cut out for Talib al-ilm, Learn a trade. If you find that you're not cut out for university and you can't get into a university or you don't have the means to get into a university, find a lawful means to study something. Because this dunya now does not have a place for those people who don't know anything, who don't have skills for anything. Learn a trade. Learn something. And I'm going to tell you a true story and hopefully my companion, he, he doesn't uh, mind me doing so and I won't mention his name, but Myself and a brother, we had just came from hiking last summer. Six months ago, matter of fact. Almost exactly six months ago. And we were talking after we had this enjoyable experience. We remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We went to the mountains. We had enjoyed our experience. And we had a very sincere talk about our community. And especially about our youth who have no direction. And who need something they need skills because it's a global world it's a world that you are competing with the world don't be afraid to do things that are going to benefit your dunya and your akhira because you need something from the dunya if you want to give dawah the law we need money to support that dawah if you want to you know you can't give dawah much without the help of the community you can't have, 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 do, do too much of anything in this dunya. You can't even afford the gas. And this is a true story. Just a few summers ago, I went back to my community. They asked me to do khutbahs in cities outside of my city. I couldn't even afford the gas because the gas prices are so high in America. I couldn't afford it. I didn't have. A, I was unemployed at the time. So my point is, is learn and gain skills and do something. Don't sit in the streets. Don't just pack a strap and think that's the way to do it. You know, have a gun and, 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 and get into and, and stay in bad environments because I know too many brothers, may Allah forgive us, and them who just stay in the bad environment. They're young men who are work, who can work, who have the ability, who have the ability to go forward and, and they can get free schooling, but instead they want to hang out. Instead they want to sell oils in the middle of the night and get robbed and shot and shoot at people. This is not the way, Habitifillah. This is not the way to go forward. So I, I, I advise myself and, my, and then the youth to go forward, learn a trade, learn how to do something so you can be able to take care of family. You want to get married, all of us want to get married. You need to have the means to get married and that's an Islamic duty. You want to do Hajj or Umrah, you need money to do that because no one's going to give it to you free, most, more than likely, unless you're blessed to have that opportunity. So learn how to do something. To get back to the story of and then we'll end, is this brother, we talked about this six months ago, one week ago, as of, as of this time, and we're in the first day of Ramadan, this brother graduated. And he has opportunities to uh, uh, go from this trade school that he learned, a very important skill that can take him even here to Saudi, to bring him here to get a good job, to make good money, and be in the land of Tawheed. So, Habitifillah, it's not far and it's, it's not far-fetched that you can do something, that you can be productive. But don't waste your time in this dunya because it's precious.